Hey guys, I want to bring you on a quick studio tour. This is my i7, first generation, has 16 gigs of RAM. It has an eight terabyte drive for storing my plots. That's harvesting. This is the harvester machine. I have a one terabyte SSD drive that's doing the temp jobs. So you can see it right here. It's plugged into that little kilowatt right now. You can see the wattage, the amp. Look at this. This is my little studio tour. That's my YouTube setup. I got two mics going on over there and the SDLR. And of course on my left is my farmer. Now the farmer I have in total size of plots right now. The total network space as of today. It says 25 days. I have 317 plots. Zero chia. All right, and this machine is working his ass off. Look at that, look at those graphs. And of course, these are my drives right now. You can see my uh, 16 terabyte drives, the E, F, and G. They're almost there, they're pretty much populated. But luckily for me, I have a few more eight terabytes, uh, internal ones. I have a 10, uh, that's another 10 terabyte external. And then I have another 10 terabyte external here. Um, and my partner has another one that is, uh, that he's filling up offline. Well, not offline, but off site. He's also plotting as well. So uh, hopefully we can start getting something. So let's jump back into the video right now. Hey guys, so I wanted to show you guys just a little tour of my studio and my setup and how my rigs are built out in this little space that I have. It's almost like a like a Harry Potter movie. I'm actually underneath the staircase somehow. Uh, that, that's my whole setup. So this is what I get. And there's some construction going on in the back. I can't control that, but you know, unfortunately, this is the, my only time I can actually record. So let's jump on into this video topic today. Kind of do a quick review over the Chia's first transaction video that Gene Hoffman put out on May 3rd when Chia went live and public. All right, stay with me on this one. All right, guys, so again, I'm gonna apologize for the sound outside. They're actually doing construction. They're building a school next to me. So there's gonna be a lot of demolition and a lot of hammering and all that good stuff uh, for some time going forward. But anyway, uh, what I wanted to point out, and I'm gonna have segments of the video on within here to demonstrate and show you guys that what Graham had mentioned in regards to what is considered a small farmer. Define small farmer. <laughs> <laughs> um, so probably, so right now a small farmer would be less than 200 terabytes. In a couple weeks, a small uh, farmer might actually be less than a petabyte. I can tell you right now, I am not even close to being a small farmer. So I'm honestly, I am a probably just like a lot of you, a small gardener, meaning I only have that little space in my front yard, probably, you know, five feet by five feet at most. Uh, I don't live in the suburbs, so my gardening tools, uh, what I have here, 317 plots that I'm actually farming with, I probably should call that gardening, even at 100 terabytes. I, I calculated what I have so far. I'm going to list out here, 316s. I'm going to actually pull up the calculator so that way I don't screw this up. 316 terabytes, that comes out to 48 terabytes total in size okay but we have to do some reduction because we don't get true value but we're just gonna go by what the numbers that I actually purchased okay and we're gonna plus two more 10 terabytes because that's what I bought as far as two external hard drives that I purchased um, in addition to after the 16 terabytes so that puts me at 68 right now and then after the 68 I actually went out another day to pick up another two eight terabytes okay so let's plus another eight is 84 terabytes. So after 84 terabytes, I actually put, I bought another eight terabyte plus eight. That puts me at 92 terabytes right now. So I'm actually under a hundred terabytes, but, but I do still have, hold on. I have a old, let's see. I'm actually going to be utilizing this as well. It's a older drive that I had. Oh my God. It doesn't list. I think this was a four terabyte. I, if I could remember correctly, this had to be a, a four terabyte. It's a, it was a lot smaller than I normally would buy now. 
But uh, even with four terabyte, that puts me only at 96, all right? But then my partner, he actually is going out to Costco. Uh, actually, he ordered online from Costco that it's three more eight terabytes. So I wanna add eight more. That puts me at 120 terabyte. Puts both, like our, our whole setup will be actually a little less than 120 terabytes. I'm hoping that keep it online as, as far as we can, uh, as long as we can, and hoping that we can, you know, start getting some Chia's. So, and another thing I wanted to point out in the video, uh, the, uh, the Chia first transaction video from Gene Hoffman that was released on May 3rd. He also mentioned about how they're working with the storage companies. Coin price can create irrational markets at times. Um, we are actively engaged with all the storage providers to make sure that they're trying to do what they can to uh, make sure we all have storage and that we're not going to continue to uh, be a shock to the system. To kind of make sure that there's no shortage, which brought up a very interesting topic in my mind. I was thinking like, wow, so they're working with the hard drive company. So they're already anticipating that this was gonna be a, like a huge thing. Like they just wanted to make sure that there was enough storage to go around. So, and, and it kind of leads me to believe that they have other goals besides Chia. Maybe they have a percentage in the, the, with the storage companies. Maybe they get kickbacks, I don't know. Like, hey, you guys can boost our sales for, for this year. You know, we'll make sure that you guys will get, you know, a certain percentage on your return. Uh, I won't be surprised. You know, that's how businesses are run. That's how, you know, people make money. It's not illegal. It's not like insider trading. Well, it sort of is because you have inside information on things that other people don't. But maybe, I don't know, I'm not sure. Want to give the benefit of the doubt that, you know, they're working with the hard drive or the storage companies to have a abundance of it and not like, hey, let's just limit this month's supply so so we can jack up the price and then by next month we'll do it again and again and again. And then, and then you know, terabyte drives will be like ridiculously priced because I'm gonna tell you guys something. When I bought the first 16 terabyte drive two weeks ago, I paid $260 for one 16 terabyte drive. And you can see that in my other video, my first video of Chia, when I first you know, bought the actual items for my rig. In my second video, that's where I, I started shucking them out of the in enclosures. Now, 16 terabytes for $260. I don't think you can, you can't get those prices for that size anymore. 260, you probably paying for like a 14 terabyte. So you're losing space, but you're paying the same amount. You're getting less space with paying more or the same amount. So I don't know if that's a kind of like a racket going on. It's almost like, you know, they're they're hustling us in regards to space because now all of a sudden space has become more expensive and time to rethink how we're gonna approach this because as, you know, let's just say Chia gets on the mainstream storage capacity storage media is going to start getting more expensive and that affects our end goal to oh just by you having extra space now remember graham uh cohen saying that it was one one thousand of uh of the network space for you to be considered a small farmer so again i'm not even close to that so i'm that small gardener or i'm the small house plant that's what you know i'm like that organic light that is like the house plant at home and i'll I'm, I'm like this little ant on um, a plant inside a house. However I got there, I'm there, I'm relevant, but <laughs> I'm not that relevant for me to be on the big soil, you know, with, um, with the rabbits and whales. So I just wanted to point out those two things that stood out so much to me. One, being a small farmer, and two, Chia Network, working with the storage companies, to make sure that they have enough storage for us. Okay, I guess I could believe that. That's pretty much uh, what I wanted to talk about today, uh, you know, in relations to Chia. I'm currently, once those three hard drive comes in from Costco, it, you know, um, uh, once, I, I believe they're still in back order. Actually, not just the three hard drives that my partner ordered, I actually ordered two 14 terabytes from B&H. Those two are back order, and they said that there would be back in maybe like three to four weeks. I don't know if that's true. Uh, I hope it is. And you know, I can start the farming, actually join the pool at this time because we are on the 11th and it was announced that on May 17th that the pools will start. Uh, hopefully that, you know, something will be in place by then. 
I mean, currently I still have space for it, but I want to anticipate having more than than less. So ho hopefully those drives will start coming in. I actually have to shut down my rig soon, so that way I can populate these two, you know, these extra two uh, eight terabyte drives into it, so I don't have to constantly look at it out here in in the box and i can't do anything yet because I, i'm always torn between should i stop the rig and throw it in there um you know as fast as i can because the longer you take the longer it will take for it to sync back if the network space keeps on growing that's the downside i, I hear people in my comments saying like yeah i had to resync and it's taking like four days what that's insane like the day every second that you do not sync or you're not online and you have to resync. Let's just say you shut your machine off for an entire day and this network space grows by like 10%. You have to sit there and and, and I think resync from zero all the way up to whatever the current state is. Or, or at least even if you had to pick back up from where you left off. So there there is a um, downside to shutting down and keeping the machine off. So how green that really is, I'm not sure, but you know, obviously it's no different from mining other other cryptocurrencies since it always has to be online. I'll let you guys go. I wanna remind you guys, remember please, the Bitcoin. If you want, you're interested, email me. Shoot me an email, message me, Reddit, Instagram, all right? Thank you guys for being here. I'll talk to you guys again soon, bye.